What's going on, everybody? Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic Hip Hop back with an exclusive interview. Today, we are going to be talking to YSL's T-Shine. Be sure to check out his single Top 5 dropping this Friday, March 18th. Be sure to check out his upcoming project, Confetti Nights, which is executive produced by Kevin Durant and Young Thug. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this exclusive interview. Today, we are going to be talking to the very talented T-Shine. Now, before I get into asking him questions, I just want everybody to know who you are and how your love for hip-hop came to be. Yes, yeah, this is T-Shine. Um, I'm a recording artist from New York, signed to YSL. My love for hip-hop came from, like, just as a young kid, like... I used to be into poetry first and then um, I used to always like write poetry down. And then one day my cousin, he just he just bought home this uh, Biggie album and played it for me. And that's kind of where my love started. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this is crazy. And then for after that, I just got into the music heavy. Word. Do you remember what Biggie album it was? Ready to Die. That's awesome. That's a classic. I was, um, you know, we always do our research here on fantastic hip hop. And um, I found out your dad was a poet, too. So that was really cool. And. You know, it explains where you get the creativity from. Right. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask, how did you link up with Young Thug, one of the most influential artists of our generation? You've done an array of songs with him at this point since 2018. You were on his On The Run EP. He was on your project, The Immaculate. So explain how that came to be. Um, well, basically, I was um, working with TM88 at the time. Um and we had moved to L.A. together. We started doing these shows in L.A. And Thug was looking for a new DJ, you know what I'm saying? And then he just happened to see, like, the shows we were doing. You know, they look crazy. So then his his people contacted us, and and that's how we we got together. He just told us, like, yo, I want y'all to come on tour. do a, Well, do a practice, do three practice shows first. And if we like it, then I want y'all to, you know what I'm saying, go on tour with us type thing. So we did the three practice shows. He liked them all. And, you know, after that, the rest was history. That's awesome. So how long have you been making music for if you were already linked with TM88? That's obviously, you know, pretty big producer. So tell us about that. Oh, yeah, I've been I've been making music uh, probably. Probably like three years, even before then, that I mm -hmm. met TM and, and TM and working with him was was dope. He's one of the best producers, you know, to me, he's he just has like a different sound, like this dark sound that I just like. So definitely working with him was dope, of course. Yeah, he's one of the best producers in the game right now. And I mean, talking about where you came from, how long you've been making music, you obviously got signed to YSL in 2019. Um, tell us about that and how it is being the only New York artist on the roster. Man, being signed to YSL, you know, that's family. So that's just that's just that's what it is. And being the only artist from New York, I don't even look at it like that. I'm just, you know, I'm just thankful to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? To have yeah. like brothers real family this is not doesn't even feel like a label so i'm just thankful to be a part of it. it's truly an amazing thing and i mean you know last year they had one of their biggest years yet obviously releasing slime language 2 which is absolutely huge number one album so many great songs that was a huge project and you had two songs on it being you know warrior and that go which had some pretty big features big sean meek mill obviously young thug Tell us about the, you know, recording process for that album, how they decided what songs were going to be on the record, what wasn't. Tell us about that. It was just like a, a family meeting type thing. You know, we all we all put it together and decided on what like how we want to do it, what songs we all were in the studio together, picking out the different songs. You know, we have, as you could probably tell, we have like millions of songs, so it's a lot to choose from. But we we all got together and we got down to the, you know, got it down and. You know, being a part of those records, like I'm just thankful that, you know, Meek came through and Big Sean came through and they just did what they did on those records. Obviously, I know Thug is going to do what he's going to do, you know, because that's my that's my brother. I know he's going to get on the song regardless, but yeah. to have those on too, that was dope. Yeah, there's definitely a sense of family throughout the entire, you know, YSL group, the songs, the collaborations. There's so much chemistry. There's just such a feeling there that not every single hip hop collective in these days can really capture. So it's really a great thing. And I mean, obviously talking about young thug, he's always going to do his thing. And you went on to release more songs with young thug. You were on punk on the song stressed with J Cole, which in itself is a huge moment, obviously being with thugger again on the second song of his album. And then being with J Cole, who is considered, you know, one of the most important, one of the biggest artists, of our time so tell us about how that song came to be man that song we actually did that song 
few years back, me and it was just me and Thug, you know what I'm saying? This was uh, during the time On The Run, right before On The Run came out, we did this mm-hmm. record. He was going through a lot, you know, and I had went to the studio and I was like, man, I got this record I want you to do. I think the beat is perfect. And then he heard the beat and then he just like, you know, let his heart out like you hear it. <laughs> and uh, the song, basically, there was a sample on it, so we didn't even get to put it on On The Run. So yeah. we just had on it and I never even knew if it was going to come out, you know what I'm saying? So just the fact that uh, it was able to come out was a beautiful thing. We had went to New York and played Cole, all these different records that Thug had. And he heard this one. He was like, man, I want to get on that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it became, it got back alive, basically. You know, Cole was like, man, I want to get on it. And we were like, hell yeah, he did his thing on there. And then, yeah. That's, that's amazing. And I mean, it's been quite the journey for you now from 2018 all the way to here all the collaborations you've done, all of the songs you've done, all of the, you know, just build up you've done to this big moment, which is coming up in your career, which is, you know, your upcoming project, Confetti Nights. You've went on a fantastic single run with songs like Feed the Fam, which is amazing. 30 for 30, which obviously right. has a big, you know, sports reference in it. The cover has the basketball hoop. Now, Kevin Durant is executive producing your album, which is just absolutely huge. I mean, that is arguably the best basketball player in the world. One of the best basketball players of all time. One of the biggest people on the planet. So explain to us, you know, how your relationship with Kevin Durant came to be and how he's affecting the project's creative process. Man, we built the relation. Originally, it was like through Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Just just going back and forth on Instagram. Like he likes my music. I like what he do on the court. You know, that's one of my favorite basketball players. Yeah. So just just even having him be a part of the project and what people might not know is kd has like a really good music music ear you know what i'm saying he does. he's in hip-hop he's one of the biggest i mean he's got right. great taste like crazy. exactly really like telling me you know like what he likes and what he doesn't like it's like it's not like he's just not doing nothing like i know a lot of people put names on there just to put names on there but he was really a part of it. i'm thankful to have him a part of it you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and so you know building on that like a lot of these, you know, celebrities who will join on albums, they'll make jokes about them. They're just yes, men. They'll sit there, put their names on. Them. Is Kevin Durant, you know, is he a hard ass in the studio? Like, how is he? Does he really get on you? Does he really, you know, push you to be your best self? Yeah, definitely. He keeps it. He just keeps it 100. You know, it's not even about like him being hard. It's just about him being real. And that's yeah. all that's somebody that's going to tell me their real opinion of like what they feel about the music. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't want you. And he's definitely not that because he'll tell you like, yeah, I like this or I don't. So definitely, definitely shout out to KD. That's amazing, man. I mean, I got to ask, too, because you're obviously you're from the Bronx, from New York. Are you a Knicks fan or are you a Nets fan? Uh, <laughs> I'm actually, to be honest, I'm a Laker fan. Really? To be oh, KD, so, yeah, so I like the Nets right now. Yeah, that's dope. That's really dope. And so, I mean, you have really just built up so much going into your career. You've worked with guys like Chief Keith, Big Sean. The list goes on. Juicy J, Max B. I got to ask, what is your favorite part about collaborating with these guys in general? And who is your favorite non-YSL artist to collaborate with? Because, I mean, asking who's your favorite YSL, I feel would be, you know, too much. <laughs> Non-YSL artist to collab with. Um... Currently, I think I would say uh, J.I.D., I would say right now, currently. You know, me and him, we've done several songs uh, recently, and I really I really like what he's doing over there. So definitely like J.I.D. and, and what awesome. he's Sure. Yeah, that's really good. So um, you want to tell us about, you know, anything else about your upcoming project, Confetti Nights? Man, just expect, you know, a beautiful – it's like a story. It's just, it's just from that rookie year all the way to the championship, you know, feeling so <laughs> – great music um great collabs amazing production just the producers on there a fire so you know i'm just it's gonna be dope and i'm ready so it's a story for sure yeah i'm definitely expecting something big i mean you really elevated your game you know you took it to that next level with these upcoming singles the feature list and i mean kevin durant a young thug executive production it doesn't get bigger than that so i am super excited and i'm really looking forward to what you got coming in the future Thank you, man. I appreciate that. And I I'm, I'm appreciate you having me for sure. Of course. Anything else you want to tell us? Anything else you want to talk about? Yeah, I mean, my new single, Top 5, it drops on uh, this Friday. So definitely everybody go check that out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, everybody, everybody be, be sure to pre-save that. Check it out. Top 5, it's going to go crazy this Friday. 
hundred <laughs> percent. That's awesome. Listen, man, thank you for coming on. We're going to be keeping up with you. We're going to be reviewing your music and, you know, we're going to keep keeping it hard, just like KD, just like Doug. And yeah, thank you so much for coming on, bro. It means a lot. Take that, brother. All right. Take care. Peace. Right. Thank you guys for listening to this exclusive interview. I hope you learned everything you need to know about T-Shot, and I hope you will be checking out his song, Top 5, dropping this Friday, March 18th. Thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to leave a follow if you're listening to this on streaming services. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you guys for all the support. Mr. F, Fantastic Hip Hop, signing out. Have a great day. Peace.